I've had several questions and I've said I'm not really I gave a few tips on driving standard in one of my videos I said I wasn't really gonna make a tutorial and I'm still not if you search on YouTube there's people that have multiple camera setups they can just do a much better job than I can and I don't see a point in copying one of their videos or trying to do it better because they do it very well where there's a camera showing what they're doing with their hands a camera on their feet showing the footwork and explaining things but still there's been some people that are new to driving manual that have asked me you know some simple questions like you see I downshift to slow down when I turn and I had someone ask me if they could just throw it in neutral and brake until they get to the stoplight and would that hurt the clutch no that's not gonna hurt the clutch at all um, now basically every time you have the clutch pedal depressed there's a bearing that's spinning and that you know it is a wearable product normally if you ever have your clutch replaced you have that replaced as well you should it should be clutch flywheel throughout bearing um also i recommend the clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder as well because i replaced the clutch in my rx8 and a thousand miles later uh, i can't remember which one it was i think it's the clutch master cylinder went and the clutch started dragging and it was a nice cold day and i pulled over and it was so cold and the clutch had gotten so hot that the the disc of the clutch and the flywheel actually fused together and it just ruined my brand new clutch and flywheel and I had to go through it all over again I mean the garage was great they worked with me um, so let's say I want to stop for this stoplight I don't really recommend holding the clutch pedal to the floor but if you want to throw it in neutral let off the clutch and just use your brakes go ahead um, the reason that I downshift is it will save wear and tear on your brake pads the engine will help slow you down and when you downshift you know you kind of need to flip the throttle to rev match because basically what happens is the RPM drops when you let off the throttle and you push the clutch in and it'll drop below where it should be for the next gear when you're downshifting especially because the you downshift the gear lower is going to be at a higher RPM than what you were just cruising at. And as you get used to the car, it'll be jerky when you're first learning the vehicle. But uh, as you get used to your car, you'll get better at rev matching. So I do that. Um, sitting at a stoplight, should it be in neutral and first gear? Well, again, if you got in first gear and you're holding your clutch pedal down, that throw up bearing spinning. Um, you'll see I sit in neutral. The benefit of being in first gear is if someone comes flying up behind you and they're not going to stop in time, and let's say you're in the right turning lane or something, or maybe you can get off the road. If you're in first gear, all you got to do is get off that clutch, get on the gas, and you're moving. And it can prevent you from getting rear ended sometimes. Uh, I know most of my friends that ride motorcycles they're always in here at stoplights and ready to go just because they're afraid someone's not going to see them I sit in neutral but if you can see my eyes I'm always checking my mirrors I'm watching what's going on behind me and if I'm a little bit nervous sometimes you might see me put it in gear at red light a little early I mean sometimes there's just no place you can go I've certainly sorry cheap little car with car can exhaust so I mean, I mean the basic rule of thumb to prevent wear and tear on your clutch and components in there is you want to spend as little time as possible on that pedal. Now that doesn't mean throw it in gear and slip your foot off the side of the clutch. You got to slip it a little. And when you're first driving, you're going to slip it more and longer. 
you don't quite know that point where the pedals match up to make it smooth and how fast to push in and let off. And that just comes from feel and experience. And you will get it. I mean, everyone was there. And every once in a while, you can be the most experienced manual driver in the world. You'll watch a gear shift sometimes, every once in a while. I mean, it's been a long time since I stole a car, but now that I've said that, I probably will do it. Sure, what this car is doing. Um, it's good that you're concerned. It's good that you want to learn. And you have to have something to ask. I'm by no means the best driver. In the world. I think for your average driver that doesn't really do motorsports in my age I don't think I'm bad I've got a lot of time behind the wheel of various things because I end up driving a lot for work and things like that but no matter what you're doing everyone has to start somewhere and learn so yeah I mean any other questions if you kind of want me to elaborate on any of that or say anything more about driving a manual transmission I certainly can. Um, anyway, I, I hope that that's just a short little video I'm throwing in as a bonus. I'm, I hope someone gets some help out of it.